have today and tomorrow to get all the way to our destination in Winnipeg, which is 1,857 kilometers away. That's 1,200 miles, approximately, give or take. So it's gonna be a busy and long two days. So it'll be a lot of scenery, road footage, stuff like that. I've gotta get there as quickly as possible. My truck decided to shut itself off. I hate that, that it does that. It thinks that if, you know, if I don't do anything for a certain amount of time, it should just shut itself off, which is probably nice because then it doesn't waste fuel. But I have to tell it to keep running. I forgot to tell it. What was I saying? Yes, we're going to Winnipeg, and I have to be there before, like, end of day tomorrow, because I want to get unloaded tomorrow yet. So we got to get there at a good time. We are going to gain one hour as we head west towards Manitoba. Right now, we're in Ontario. I think we slept, uh, we slept east of Sault Ste. Marie, but west of Sudbury. So in between Sudbury and Sault Ste. Marie, if you're familiar with northern Ontario. And yeah. Let's get out there. Got to get a lot of miles behind us. I got to sneeze, too. <laughs> Every time I start vlogging, every time I start vlogging, I have to sneeze. You there, yes, you. Do you have coffee? For me, I really need coffee. I have no idea what town I'm in. I've never stopped here before. I don't know if they sell coffee. I'd assume they'd sell coffee. Why wouldn't they sell coffee? Diesel, who doesn't sell coffee? Oh yeah, that convenience store we were at in uh, Hearst. I was so shocked. I walked into the convenience store, which was a truck stop, and they, they didn't sell coffee. Wonder if it's some kind of religious thing of the owners? Is there any religions out there? Mormons! They don't like coffee. Figured it out. Must have been Mormons. They don't like coffee. They don't drink coffee, you know that? They don't drink coffee. What kind of 
convenience store doesn't sell coffee. Don't open a convenience store if you're not going to sell coffee. Right? The coffee cups were like this big. I had to buy two. Just for me. Probably thought I had a friend that I was bringing one back to. No, I got no friends. They were both for me. I had to buy two. Why you got such big, so small coffee cups? Who does that, right? At least they sold coffee though, right? It's better than not selling any coffee at all. Who am I? Why am I complaining? You're always complaining, Trucker Josh. That's what everyone says, right, Diesel? Yeah, you have a point, man. Yeah, you have a point. Is this your frog? Good boy. What does your What does your frog do? Make your frog make a sound. Where's your frog? Where's your frog? You heard him, man. My bad. So this is my steel. That I've got here. Whole load of it. I don't really like this steel as much because it's not as thick and you have to be very careful with it. Put too much pressure on it, it'll actually bend it all up. And nobody ordered bent steel. Not that I know of. Usually they want it to be, you know, straight. I guess it depends. But I gotta deliver this all into Winnipeg tomorrow at noon. So, it's been good so far. Hasn't shifted at all. It's settled a little bit, but after I stopped for a load check a half, af a half hour after I left, and then another about an hour after that, just to tighten up the straps just a little bit as everything sort of settled, but nothing has shifted. It's been, uh, it's been a great run so far. Looking forward to getting home. Diesel, where are you, bud? I see you way out there. Diesel, come on, man. Enough exploring. We gotta get going. Gotta go inside, go to the bathroom yet. Diesel, hey, it's my turn. Come on. You see him over there? He's ignoring me. What a jerk. Come here. Diesel, now. Now, come here. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm on my own schedule. He turned around. Diesel, come here. Oh, he's finding the perfect spot to leave a big present for Mother Earth. That's why he wasn't listening. Usually he listens pretty quick and he comes running, so. You done? When you're done, you come here. Crazy guy. All right. Took you that long to leave one? Thought you did that before already. Come on. Come here. Feel better? Come on, Diesel. Let's get back in the truck. Gotta listen a little bit better than that, bud. Ignis, Ontario. This is where we made it. This is the next morning. Just wanted to let you know. We drove almost a full 13 hours yesterday. I got here with like eight minutes left on my clock. Uh, it was about 702 miles, I think, through Northern Ontario that we did yesterday. So we've got another five hours of driving to do today yet. About 500, just under 500 kilometers, 300 miles. And I got about five hours to do it in. <laughs> I told them I'd be there at noon, and it's 7 a.m. right now. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 
So I better get moving. That's going to be tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you tune in tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button. I almost forgot. I'm just waking up here. <laughs> okay, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.